Hi everyone. Oh man. Well, evidence is already coming in that what we are seeing in Santa Fe, Texas may be a drill. A call for an uprising. Posted this video. I will link below to it. You might find this interesting. And yeah, I probably will name this uh, this video. Watch this. I don't know. Because we have seen it before when these events occur, an awful lot of channels get terminated. Yeah, that in itself should alert Americans that something's very wrong. When we have so many people having their pages on Facebook terminated or channels on YouTube terminated for, for seeing things that don't jive with an actual event, like something's wrong with this picture, which we see in this video. The event still ongoing in Santa Fe, Texas. Remember that Sandy Hook coroner who was answering questions of reporters and he laughing? La a tragic event occurs. Children die, murdered, and you see people laughing. This doctor answering questions from reporters. Well, I'll play you this short clip, but if you are someone who can't pick up affect from people, then you need to work on awareness, your own awareness, and the awareness of those that are communicating to you, whether in real life or on the TV. If you can't spot that facial expression is part of how people communicate body language, I don't know what to tell you. But you would expect to see shock, despair, sadness, something. Something that, well, when the human being is involved in an experience that involves the murder of children, we know that that produces a certain emotion in people. It could produce anger or profound sadness. It does not produce smiling. And this guy is smiling several times. So he was uh, just asked by a reporter what is provided for the parents of these children who have been injured or killed in this shooting. And watch his affect. We have an area set up with our social workers in the emergency department. If there are parents who show up, we will have to try to help them as best we can to find out what's going on with their children. And I'm sure at this scene, which is, I hear is very chaotic from the reports that we've gotten. He's smiling. Watch the video. He smiles several times. And that should create in everybody's adult mind like, what's going on with this guy? The juxtaposition. Okay. Eight children died, and he's smiling. You will also hear him say that there was a mass casualty drill just a few weeks ago, right smack there. How is it that Americans are not getting that when we see these events, either there is a drill that is taking place and it becomes live, my God, 9-11-2001, wow, all of those drills taking place, and it went live. Or there was a drill that took place only a short while ago, and boom, wow, the same event occurs. You will hear this doctor speak about how we're always prepared for these drills. Which leaves one thinking, did he mean this is a drill as well? Okay, you know, 
I, I don't, for all of you who have left me comments, you getting angry at me for blaming the American people, don't play the blame game. Well, let me just tell you, you have been so fabulously socially engineered, deliberately engineered, to not hold anybody accountable because that is why suddenly the word in the early 80s, blame, well, that was a bad word. You can't speak blame. We don't play the blame game. And then Americans just marched off. Okay, okay, I won't play the blame game because you know, oh, if I hold anybody accountable for what they have done, then I'm going to be shamed. I'm going to be disapproved of. I'm going to be abandoned. No, blame is really important. Important. It's an important part of our social contract with one another that we actually do hold people accountable for their bad behavior so that this is a, a whole society doesn't oh, descend into the dark chaos that we are living now. The ultra low frequencies that I showed in the earlier video that I posted on this shooting, when you see the intensity of the ultra low frequencies taking place in a region, you will, you have to then think what's going to be happening in that region. I showed several days of very intense ultra low frequencies happening right in this area. And those ultra low frequencies can be used to keep the population in that region down, keep them depressed, keep them feeling physically ill. It can create anger, it can create um, anxiety, but they're also used to mind control those in that region. And I do have to wonder if those frequencies being used were deliberate <laughs> for this event to make the people in this region incapable of recognizing body language, facial expressions, an affect that doesn't quite fit the picture. I don't know, but I just want to say to all of you who somehow find excuses for your fellow Americans, that's got to stop. Americans, way before this technology, were quite comfortable with just voting. I'm responsible. Then they go right back into their self-centered lives. We have not been a moral people for a very, very long time. And unfortunately, when you are not living those principles that you speak, you are extremely susceptible to the influences, external influences. If you don't know who you are, you will not recognize that you are behaving, thinking, feeling in a way that you really shouldn't be. If you're not aware of your own self, then you won't recognize any real change in your behavior. And when you are someone who is a child, then you're not going to be capable of fighting anything. Americans have to hold one another accountable. If you're a child, you will not have the courage to hold your fellow Americans accountable. And people really need to hold one another accountable for their immoral behaviors. Because the ripple effect is wide and it affects us all.
in a dangerous way. Your fellow Americans are contributing to this nightmare. These doctors who are Americans. If in fact this is a drill, they're up there, I can participate in this. I can deceive my fellow Texans. I can deceive my fellow Americans into believing that this is real. I can go along with this lie. That kind of behavior does it not need to be called out. And how many of our fellow Americans are living lives contributing to this nightmare and I'm sorry guys, I cannot sit back and just oh report on all of these events like we're not connected to them. Everything is connected. The link is below.